Hello everyone, I've got a new toy, but it's not this, it's this. This, way is our new Renault Twizy. Look at it, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? And so light, you can push it around by hand or even tow it with a toy Tesla. So it's gonna be a little short video all about our Renault Twizy. More right at that angle. Excuse the state of my clothes. We've just spent this morning building this trailer. Well, adapting a trailer. So this is actually a double motorbike trailer and we've just sort of taken it apart a bit, moved the rails right to the side. It's the perfect size and weight just to carry this Twizy in a really lightweight package. This only weighs kind of 450 kilograms and the trailer weighs kind of 130, 140 kilograms. It's not much at all. So the plan is we can actually tow this behind a Tesla. So you're going to see us at some forthcoming shows um, this Saturday and Sunday, EVs in the park in Coventry, then London to Brighton Rally, and we're going to take this along and we're going to tow it with a Tesla. So that should be good fun. But anyway, let's get off the trailer and I'll tell you why this is the most fun electric vehicle you could possibly drive. It's just great, isn't it? So I'm going to take it out for a drive in a minute and that's the best bit about it. But just look at the recipe here, rear motor, rear wheel drive, collar suspension, scissor doors, look at this, carbon fiber trim on the dashboard, we even have a heated windscreen here. Pop a little sports car isn't it? Well, I wouldn't quite call it that but it is great fun like a sports car. So it's just a fantastic little thing. Underneath the seat here, let me just open this up, underneath the seat here is a 6.1 kilowatt hour battery and then there's an electric motor under this seat. Yep, two seats. This is a two-seater car, three seat belts because you have two for the front and one for the back here. And you can actually carry two people in reasonable comfort. You have to get one person between your legs, but it's pretty good. Now this does have these optional doors. You don't, act even, you don't even have to have these, but there's no windows. So obviously if it's raining, you can get a little bit wet. But only really when you're stationary. I drove this in very heavy rain yesterday and actually going along, it's fine. The water comes in here, you probably get wet in the back. But yeah, it's actually pretty good fun. Alloy wheels, just three nuts needed there. And then I'll show you around this side. There's a suspension, all very visible, anti-roll bar. Uh, in the front here, you've got this little flap which contains your charging lead. And yep, just a domestic plug on that. Nothing else needed because it's such a small battery and efficient. Just plug it into a domestic supply and it charges. Well, we've had it on charge about two and a half hours and it's been done, finished. So it's not fast charging, but actually for miles per hour, it's pretty good. Apparently you have a range in this of just over 50 miles and from all the kind of driving around town we've been doing, we haven't been trying at all for economy. I don't think that's the point with this car. You just whiz around in it, but yeah, it does quite a few miles in a day. You can go home and back to work quite happily. So yeah, probably 40 miles. We're going to find out the exact range very soon actually, because on Sunday, we're going to do the London to Brighton electric vehicle rally. That's a 56 mile journey. Will we make it in one go? Well, <laughs> debatable, but we can stop and charge if we need to. No problem. Just need somebody with a socket. Um, this windscreen, by the way, is a proper glass windscreen with a wiper and it's heated. So we even have a heated windscreen. And I'm going to show you around here as well as I get in the car. Um, you've got a lock-in glove box. Then you've got your ignition, which is a normal key. And you've got a key like a sort of Renault Clio type thing. Very old school. A handbrake underneath. This is the carbon fibre trim. Speedo cluster there. And you actually have an airbag in this car. Um, I wouldn't want to have a crash in this car. I'm not sure the airbag is going to be of massive value if you were to have an accident with this. But... It's there, legal requirement, I guess. Um, and then, yeah, have a look at the trailer. This works brilliantly. Absolutely fantastic. So we can push this around so easily or drive it with a little tester, no problem. But without doubt, the best bit about this car is just the fun it is to drive. So let's jump in it, go for a drive, and I'll try and show you. Now that I've stopped laughing, the first time I drove this, I was just laughing non-stop, by the way. So I think I'm over that. Let's take it for a drive and I'll show you. Flash up clear bottoms on the doors here, which is brilliant. And then, just twist the key till it beeps. There's your beep. There's a handbrake right under here. Release that. Select drive. That's just a little storage compartment in there. And this is the lockable glove box, which I haven't unlocked yet. Right, let's get out. Comes with two seat belts. This one, well, I'm not quite sure. I think you put it over your shoulder. I should look at the manual, really, shouldn't I? And this one's like a normal seat belt there. So, is that how it goes? That can't be right, can it? Must be like that. 
Yeah, now it's two the same side. I think we just go like that. So when you're in go, but the handbrake's off, it beeps you to let you know that the car could roll. But that's to uh, head out for a little drive. And this is what it's all about. <laughs> okay. Now this is the point where I don't know if you're going to be able to hear me because it's fairly noisy. It whizzes along brilliantly. What you do notice straight away is it is distinctly noisy. You hear the motor whine and you've obviously got no glass. <laughs> so uh, you hear everything outside and it's quite firm. So you go, God, oh, today is actually quite firm. It has quite stiff anti-roll bars, but you can get a softer anti-roll bar. So it rides better. There's loads of aftermarket modifications for these, so plenty you can get. That beeping's annoying. It doesn't have auto hold, so if I lift the brake, it now rolls, so it's just telling me that's what it can do. As soon as you go, it stops. Here we go, acceleration. Well, it's not quick, but it whizzes around. That was straight up to 30 miles per hour. And you can do 60 miles per hour in this. I've done 60 miles per hour down a dual carriageway. Um, it's brilliant. And a hot day, pretty warm and muggy today. You can sit here with your arm on the window and just enjoy it. It's just brilliant. People obviously look around at you, laugh at you, point at you, give you the thumbs up normally, it makes everyone smile and isn't that just a brilliant thing? You can drive something like a Porsche Taycan and people look at you, <laughs> but I don't think they always laugh with you, just sort of more at you. And I think this one they're laughing with you. But you just can't help but smile. And the first time I drove this, I just laughed constantly. I took my daughter to school in this and we were both laughing on the way to school. And there can't be many cars that can do that. Um, so, just love it. Absolutely love this car. I think it's brilliant. Why are these not more popular? Well, we'll see in our country is a little bit limited. <laughs> It's a little bit bumpy in places. This is 60 miles an hour now, let's go. Now this is where I really don't think you're going to be able to hear me. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. It does need a run up to get to 60. Uh, coming up to a junction, but I've lost the car behind me. He's wondering what earth that thing is doing in front. That's the indicator noise. Blip, 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 blip. There's no power steering, but you don't need it. Those tyres are so small. You know, everything that's going on with this car, when the motor's whining, exactly what the steering's doing. It is like a little go-kart. Around this corner. <laughs> a little bit of understeer. It bounces around any bump, so. I'm sure in the rain it probably slide the back out and drift it. I'm not going to try that. There's one thing we need in this car and that is some music. That is exactly what we need. So I'm going to go and see my colleague Gintz. He's the sound man. He's going to have an answer to this. Gintz. Gintz. It's a great car but I need some music. I got you. Can you fix me up? Yep. What sort of install can you do? There we go. There we go. This is what you need in the back of the car. Look at that. So a massive Bluetooth speaker. Seat belt here to the back. This is going to be good. Oh, <laughs> see gets his lunch. <laughs> back in five minutes. has hooked me up with a big Bluetooth speaker in the back and that says where the rear passenger would be there's a perfect space that you can buckle it in so this is better because now you can't really hear the motor whine and you just can enjoy summer music this is royalty free music we're playing but enjoy what you like of course with my colleague Serge now we're both six foot tall one meter what's that 80 85 one meter 86 and so just to prove two six foot adults can fit inside a twizzy let's do it because you won't believe me otherwise I'm gonna get in first like this now you can slide the seat forward but I'm in 
I've got headroom as well. There's actually look, the space up here because we've got a glass roof and then I just have to sort of straddle surge like this and we're, I can still close the door actually. Yeah. It's actually fine. The weirdest thing is I was following two of my colleagues down the road the other day and the back seat passenger was sat like this. <laughs> so if you were following that car, you would never think there was another person sat in the back. So you'd think the driver was driving along with both his arms out the window. So that looked a bit weird, but actually for two people, it's absolutely fine. So we have our little twizzy, what should we call it? Lizzie? I don't know, need to think of a little name. It needs a name, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, just a brilliant front vehicle. Not too much I can say really other than maybe you'll see a certain event with it soon or come and see us here. We'll keep hold of it for a bit. Interestingly, the values have actually been going up in the secondhand market recently. Now, if you're buying one secondhand, you need to know if it's got a battery lease or battery owned. Um, if it's got a lease, you can actually buy the battery outright for a thousand pounds, which is what I did with this car here from Renault Finance. Um, but what a brilliant, fun car. I hope you all agree. I hope you like this little video. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you like our little twizzy. We're going to keep hold of this for a little while. It's just great fun. See you soon. Thanks for subscribing. Ha, ha, ha.